So in this quick tip, I want to talk about something called the low pass filters in the multi-week code. And these LPF settings are a way to get rid of the slight twitching that you may have in a model when you've gone through the process of balancing the props, the motors, and doing all the other bits and pieces that you should do when you build it, and you're still having a, um, a slight twitch in the hover. So rather than it being silky smooth and just sitting there in the sky, it's actually uh, randomly kind of kicking to the left or the right or front or back even though you're not touching the sticks. So let me show you in the multi-week code where this um, setting is and how you do it so that you can uh, use the LPF filter settings to get rid of those little twitches and get your model flying perfectly. So here we're actually looking at the code that I've used on that model and it's a Cirrus SE 2.5 board and this one um, is using GPS and as you can see in the name I always try and put the key things that I've configured just helps me find the sketch again when I'm trying to reuse it for something else or maybe reloading the board and trying something different and that's useful particularly when you're putting the low pass filter bits and pieces on to put it in the name it just helps you keep track because this is an iterative process now the LPF settings are actually in good old config.h and it's about halfway down. Uh, there's two sections uh, for the different common gyro setups. There's one for the ITG 3200-3205 and the one we're going to look at is for the good old MPU 6050 that's used in most of the multi wii style boards these days. And the low pass filter is this bit here. Now what the low pass filter does, it actually gets rid of high frequency vibration that's causing the gyro to um, become confused and make a correction in the code that's causing that little flick. Now what we need to do is put the level of the low pass filter low enough so that we get rid of the vibration but not so low that it starts to then impact the way that the craft flies. So on this one as you can see I actually got down to 42 before I got rid of all the problems and as it says at the top the low pass filter setting is used if you can't eliminate all of the vibration on the model. So you really need to make time, make sure as we said at the start that you have your motors balanced, that you've checked that your props are balanced, that you've balanced the hubs of the props, that you've made sure that ideally the board is on an anti-vibration mounting, that nothing is loose and vibrating against the case or the chassis. But I've had this happen on a couple of boards where even when I've gone through all of those bits and pieces, in the hover, the board is very slightly twitching um, side to side. And um, no matter what I did, I couldn't get rid of it. But this is your last resort, but it's a great one. So the top one is basically saying that the low pass filter is set at 256 hertz. That's the default setting, so you don't need to uncomment that. It's just for reference. Um, so if you find that you're flying your board and in the hover it's um, just gently kind of flicking from side to side randomly, not big uncommanded movements because that's kind of your PID problem, but it kind of hovers nicely but just does that slight twitch, then the first thing to do is come in here, uncomment the 188 hertz, write this code to the board and hover it again and see if it works, if it's got rid of the twitching. If it hasn't, come back to your PC, undefine the next one, try it again. If it doesn't work, uncomment the next one. Now this is where I got to on this model, 42 hertz. I suggest that this is probably as low as you want to go. Anything below this, I would say that there's something else going on. There you go. I've had a couple of um, people who have asked about this, who have had this twitching problem on their model. I've explained in help outs and on the comment section in YouTube how to fix it. So now hopefully if you're building your quadcopter over the winter and you find that you can't get rid of those little twitchy movements in the hover and when it's flying around, this is where you need to come to. Give it a try and hopefully it'll sort you out. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.